Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio. Thank you so much for spending the time. We're going to spend a little bit of time showing you how to factory reset, how to wipe and reinstall macOS from scratch on a M1 based MacBook. But this is of course the processor that is custom made by Apple. Uh, the steps are a little bit different to the Intel version of these CPUs on the Macs. Um, so we're going to be showing you this on an M1. Let's crack onto that video right now and show you the steps. So the first thing you're going to want to do is ensure that your Mac is actually powered off. So if your Mac is powered on, go ahead and shut it down. On the top right of the keyboard on your Mac, you've got your power on. You want to press and hold that for a number of seconds. You continue to hold that until you see the following screen showing you some loading of some startup options that will allow you to go and reset your Mac. There will be an options icon that shows up right there along with your hard drive. The options looks very similar to your system preferences icon, but on the left, if you clicked on Macintosh HD, that would start your Mac as normal. But what we want to do is go to the right and select options and then the Mac OS recovery will begin. You'll be presented with four options, but the one that we're interested in is the very bottom one, which is disk utility, because we need to go and erase our disks first. So select disk utility. Now within disk utility, we're gonna completely erase our hard drives, which means all of our data will go away. So make sure you have a backup of your data if you do wanna keep it, because this will erase all of your data. Then select continue. Disk utility will now open. You'll see on the very far left are your internal hard drives, mine being data, Macintosh HD and then a second Macintosh HD data. You may only have two, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna select Macintosh hard drive and then select Arrays Volume Group. If the Group button does not show up, you can also select the hard drives individually one by one and select Arrays. You also wanna make sure that the format is APFS. The process should complete successfully. If it doesn't, I would recommend maybe rebooting and restarting that process again. But once that is done, you can then exit out of the disk utility application. Now we're gonna select the second option, which is reinstall macOS. First thing, make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. And secondly, make sure that your Mac is connected to power because it will drain a bit of battery. You can do it without power plugged in, but it's recommended that you do have it plugged in. Once you are happy with that, select that second option and select continue. You got your installation screen, we're gonna select continue. Standard terms and conditions, if you're happy with that and you have read and understood that, you can select that you agree. We now wanna select Macintosh HD, which is that second hard drive on the right and select continue. Your computer will now go out to the internet, download macOS and reinstall it from scratch. So make sure you have a good connection to be able to do this. After some time, you'll be presented with this screen right here, which means that your Mac OS has installed successfully, and then you can begin the config, or you can simply shut down your Mac if you are happy with how it looks. So factory reset is done. You should now have a Mac that is being completely wiped. You can now sell it, you can give it away, you can reinstall everything from scratch if you're gonna keep it. Whatever the purpose, it is now done. Factory reset on a M1 MacBook, that's it. Thank you. Do what you do on YouTube by liking, commenting, subscribing, and do also check out some of my other videos if you want to keep up to date on all things tech. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.